Thank you, Chair. I have to say that I agree with you on that point in relation to that particular site. The guidance makes it very clear that you're not allowed to put a red line through um, because um, one of the first, it doesn't want to indicate a prohibition to consume alcohol because that's the big difference between the alcohol free zone and the designated public place builder, whereas it was an offence to drink in a public place where one of these existed previously. It's now not an offence to do that. So it doesn't, the, the, the sign does not want to give the impression that it is a criminal offence to drink alcohol. And so the guidance says, don't put a red line through it. It is, it is only guidance, I agree. No, the, 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 sorry, the difference is the offence is only made out when you don't comply with the request of the police officer. So if, if an individual is drinking in the street and they're not involved in nuisance or antisocial behaviour drinking, they're allowed to do that. If somebody is involved in nuisance or antisocial behaviour drinking and a police officer asks them to stop and they refuse to stop, then the offence is committed. So it's, uh, it's not as straightforward as it as is. And it wasn't the alcohol reserve. Uh, and that's why the, the guidance seeks to suggest signage to take that into consideration. For what it's worth, I, I agree, I don't think it's ideal. I think. Uh, well, we want to come in, I I'm sure you probably can get it. Can just assist on a, um, a slightly different um, information, really, in that? Obviously, uh, these signs were produced for use only in consultation with um, street team staff. And um, we had this discussion about the line. Um, and they um, managed to convince me um, because they took me directly to what road signs do. And if we go back to our highway code, what does a road circle tell us? No. So it, it tells us not to do something. And they were quite comfortable because it was obviously going in part of the street scene, sort of signage and road signage, that it was quite appropriate to follow the model in the Home Office guidance, um, and that was in line with the sort of road sign. Because the red circle on our road sign is no, because it's no entry. Okay. You're thinking now, aren't you? I can see, I can see you're thinking, I had to think, but they are right. Um, it, it's yeah. <laughs> that it, it, it is. It's just a well, well, can I just sort of elaborate on that point from a from a legal perspective? The difference between no, you can't do something on a prohibition. When there's a red line through something, that means there's a prohibition on that particular thing, as opposed to no, you can't do this thing. And that's what what they're trying to do is they're trying to be consistent with signs that are familiar with. I think that, I, I think a personal opinion, backed up by the comments that I'm hearing from yourselves, there might be this mark on this one, which is which, which is not unusual, dare I say, for that to happen sometimes with some of our decisions. But, uh, because it isn't prohibited, a line through would suggest alcohol is prohibited and it's not. Um, so that, who, who decided it? That particular sign is contained as a direct link from the guidance that is issued by the The guidance does actually say, um, in relation to how the signs are to be worded and how they're supposed to be presented, um, um, such should not conflict with obviously the traffic signs, and I think that's sort of our <coughs> um, We suggest avoiding the use of diagonal lines through boxes or glasses on signs. They may suggest some sort of prohibition or ban on alcohol itself. Signs should not suggest that the consumption of alcohol is a criminal offence. So that's come straight from the guidance. So the guidance is guidance to the authority, and as we've indicated, it's only guidance. Nevertheless, if we are to act outside that guidance, we have to have strong reasons for not doing so. Yes. The thing that the principal should be able to understand it. Quite a lot of progress. Can I have a conversation with the principal? Really? Can't we discuss the experience of science for our exhibition in London? Which we can enforce in a certain time. I think it's one of the things. I find this very interesting. Yes, sir. There is a process. 
wants to be followed um, subject to your decision this evening. Um, and uh, there's also practicalities to be met as well. Um, the process is obviously it can't be designated, it can't come into effect until the signage is up. Um, we have to publish a notice in the local newspaper um, to state that you, if you were not designated that you had done so and then we have to wait a period of time. Um, I would estimate, I don't know if Councillor Nidlock might be able to give me better guidance uh, of our time scales that we, we got to in New Ferry. Um, we're talking probably at least two months, yeah. that'd be fair.